and welcome back to Creativity with Chloe. It's been a while since I last saw you, but today we have a fun video that I know you'll enjoy. Today we're going to be playing with stretchy sand. It's one of the new things that I have not tried yet, but I know you and I will both enjoy. So I'm going to be opening the box and showing you what's inside. So let's get started. First I'm going to open it. There is some tape, so just take that off. Okay. So, super excited. Still some more tape here. Okay, there we go. We have taken off all the tape, and now let's open it. Ooh, there is a lot of stuff in here. So, let's open this cardboard. Okay. First, we have this ice cream mold. This looks so cute. I'm super excited to use it. We have this big seashell, and we have this really cool sand castle. Let's see what else is in here. We, we want to make sure that we use our instructions guide so we know what to do. So I'll leave this onto the side. Next so we have, we have our four different colors of clay. We have blue and purple green, yellow, and pink. We also have this shaping tool, and these two, or three, but we will find out what, how to use them at the end. Now I'm gonna put these aside. We always wanna make sure to use our instructions guide. This is very important, so I'm going to open it and show you what it says. Whoa, this is very long. Okay, let's read this. So, we always want to make sure to wash our hands with soap and water every time we finish using it and wipe down our area because we want to make sure we have a clean space. That's very important. So, let's see. We always want to keep these in the bags that they are in because we won't don't want these to go dry. We can do pretty much anything we want with this. So first we're gonna open this bag. I'm gonna do pink because pink is my favorite color. Ooh. Super excited to open it. And we're gonna let this out onto our area. Whoa. It's super stretchy. If you do not have any of this at home, you could always go and find some kinetic sand. Kinetic sand is exactly like this, but I don't think this stretchy. <laughs> okay, this pink one is super fun, but it's also at the same time hard. Stretchy, but hard. So now we're going to put this back into our bag. We've now played with the first one. Let's look at the yellow bag. This is our second one. It's very hard to open. You can also ask an adult for help to help you with opening these bags because they seem to be very hard and to make sure that you don't make too much of them. I'm going to give this to my mom to help me out with this. <laughs> While we do that, we can open our other bags. Wow. Okay, let's do the green one. You can comment down below what color is your favorite. Pink, of course, is mine. But maybe like blue or green or yellow or purple or blue. Any color is really great for me. Whoa. Stretching power. <laughs> Look at this. Luckily, it's not making too much of a mess because a mess is not what we want. We want to make sure to always clean up. 
and luckily with my mom's help me we have opened the yellow one it's so, like out of here whoa was super fun. Now let's put this back into the bag. I have decided to put aside the green and the blue and purple and only use pink and yellow. I'm going to be using the ice cream mold and the sand castle mold with this tool to help me with molding and everything else. So first we're going to open the ice cream mold. Let's see here. It's very hard, but I think I've got it. There it is. So the color I'm going to be using is pink. You can use any colors you want or even mix them. I'm not going to mix my colors as I want them to stay separate. Okay, let's take our slimy stretchy sand out. And we're going to slowly Put in our sand in there. Here it is. Now I'm going to put this back on. Oops. Oh, look what happened. It fell out. <laughs> Let's put it back in. There we go. Now that it's back into where it belongs, I'm going to put it back in. I'm going to press it so that it stays inside. Or probably use the tool. Okay. So I think it's mostly stayed inside. Now we're going to get this and just plop it here. So it's been disclosed. And here's what it looks like. So now I'm going to put this aside and work on our hand castle. So let's open it up. Ooh, that's funny. Now let's get this out of there. And we'll probably want to get that back. Thank you. So now, using what we did last time, I'm going to play with it a little. Because this is really fun. And slowly and carefully separate it and put it into our mold. This one's is a little harder because it's bigger and there are more shapes to it. So if you want to use your tool, you can use that to shape it all out. If you don't have any molds, but you do have sand, you can always use beach toys as they're very fun and you can also still make sand castles with them. So you can still have fun just like I am doing right now. So now we're going to pop this back in there and here's what it looks like. Yay, this is super fun. So now we're just going to let these stay here so I can look back at my creation. Okay, I have let these dry for about three to five minutes so that these sands can shape correctly. So now we can open them and see what our art looks like. I'm very excited. First, we're gonna open the ice cream and I did play with this a little just to make sure that the ice cream would fit in and there won't be any holes. I also use this tool to flatten it out and I recommend using it before putting your sand in the mold. So now I am going to open our sand art. Wow, this looks so pretty. Remember, this is not meant for consumption. Do not eat the ice cream no matter how good it looks. Do not eat it. It's not good for you. And it doesn't taste that good. But this ice cream looks so pretty. And I wonder what we can do with it. Destroy it! <laughs> this ice cream will now be turned back into sand. 
the ice cream was free, but now it's all gone. Oh well. <laughs> now we always have to put our sand back into where it was. And make sure you close it very tight because we don't want it to go dry. There it is. Now my favorite. The sand castle. Let's open it up. Wow. This one is also very pretty. I'm so happy, and I'm so glad how it turned out. Stay very nice, and now look at this castle. There it is. Now I'm going to very carefully lift it up and destroy it. Because that is the whole point of this, to have fun. We Look how stretchy this can get. This is so much fun. You can mold it any type of shape that you want. You don't have to use the mold that you find. Now, like always, we have to put it back inside the bag. You don't want it to go dry. You want to be able to reuse it any time that you want, and you don't want any dry sand. If it does go dry, you can always put a little water to reactivate your sand. Now we're going to fix the molds. Oops, wrong way. And make sure everything is back in the order that it was. Have to make sure to keep everything clean. And now I'll push these aside. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe, share, and like. It means so much to me to have you here. And of course, share with your friends. And hopefully they might enjoy this too. And I'll see you next time. Bye.